Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. My name is Jordan. Um, today what I'm gonna be doing with you guys is a 15 minute beginner full body stretching routine. So I'm gonna go ahead um, from head to toe, get you stretched out. We'll start out with a couple minutes of warming up, just um, nice easy movements, just get the blood flowing a little bit. This would also be a great routine to do after you get back from a walk or after another workout when you're already warmed up. And then if you do that, you can feel free to skip my three minute warm up and just go right into the stretching. Um, with this stretching routine, this will not require um, getting up and down off the ground at all. We'll either be standing for everything or if you have a chair at home I am going to be demoing some things seated on here as well as using this for balance so I do suggest that you have a chair nearby we're not going to use it quite yet but we'll want to have that handy um, and ready to go so right now I'm going to have you just kind of walk in place here just to move those legs a little bit you can get those arms involved a little bit as well if you want to make little laps around your house you could do that you don't have to stand in place here just a little walking nice and easy all right, and as we continue to walk, so keep those legs moving. I want you to take and circle those arms forward, nice and slow, big circles, work them through that full range of motion. All right, we're gonna go ahead and reverse those arms now to the back. Nice and big. All right, keep walking here. You're gonna go ahead and cross those arms right out in front of you. One arm over the top of the other. All right, you can go ahead and uh, keep those feet still now. We're gonna go ahead and take your head tilted off to the side. We're gonna do just a couple neck rolls, just right across the front of your chest, nice and easy. Especially if you're a little bit tight there. Roll it out side to side. All right, you can go ahead and release that. Now we're gonna go ahead, take those arms up above your head. You're gonna raise that knee up, tap those hands to your knee. Lift and lower down. Lift, lower down. Good, keep raising here. All right, and if you're still feeling like you need additional warm up at this point, you can always pause the video, um, do all of that all over again, repeat it, rewind it. You could walk around your house a little bit more um, to get warmed up, especially if you're doing this right after you got out of bed. If you've been up for a while, moving around today, not a big deal, but if you just woke up and you wanna do this, I would encourage you to pause it here, do a little bit more. Otherwise, um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with a neck stretch. So just standing up here nice and tall, little bend in those knees, I want you to keep your shoulders relaxed down. You're going to tilt your head off to the side here. Again, while you continue to keep those shoulders relaxed down and hold it here. You should be feeling this stretch right across the side of your neck. If you're not feeling the stretch, I want you to go ahead and just take that hand and just really gently just apply a tiny bit of pressure. You're just going to keep holding this while still bringing those shoulders down. That's going to increase the stretch. Go ahead and switch over to your other side. So we're gonna be holding all of our stretches today on each side for 30 seconds. I highly recommend when you are stretching on your on your own, a minimum, bare minimum of no no long or less than 20 seconds when you're holding a stretch. Um, and I prefer 30, even up to 45 seconds to get the most benefit out of it. Good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and release that. I want you to go ahead and just gently look up towards the ceiling. So just right here. I don't want you to crank your head way back. Just a little bit, try to pull those shoulder blades back together, really opening everything up here. All right, you can go ahead and release that. All right, now we're gonna take both arms up towards the ceiling right here. You're gonna grab a hold of that wrist and you're gonna pull that arm across your body. While you're pulling here, I want you to push those hips 
out, all right? I don't want you to crank way over here. It's just more of a lift up and then a little tip over. You should feel that stretch all across the side of your body into that arm. The other thing too, as we're holding all of these stretches today, being mindful that you're breathing. This is a good time to just kind of shut that mind down a little bit, take some time for yourself, focus in on your breath. All right, let's reach up and switch it over to your other side again. Give that a little bit of a pull, push those hips out and hold. All right, you can go ahead and release that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take that arm across the front of your chest. You should feel this in through the shoulder, upper part of the arm, just like this. And these stretches might feel like you're holding them for a long time. So I really encourage you when you're stretching to set a timer and watch it or do it along with a video like this. Cause a lot of times um, we underestimate the amount of time we're actually holding a stretch. I want you to go ahead and switch it over to your other side. We're gonna go ahead and release that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and use the chair for balance. We're gonna start with a standing quad stretch. So you're gonna reach behind, go ahead and grab a hold of that foot. Heel comes in towards your glute and you should feel this stretch right across the front side of your leg here. We're gonna hold this. If you don't need the chair, that's fine too, but it's here for you for balance as needed. Good, all right, go ahead, release that. We're gonna switch it over now to your other side. Same thing, heel comes in, stand up nice and tall, stretching it out right here. Keep holding here just a little longer on this side. All right, let's go ahead, release that. Now we're gonna take those hands together behind your back. So just kind of fold the hands. If you can't actually reach the hands together, maybe shoulder flexibility won't allow it. You can just reach those hands in that general direction. But if you're able to, I want you to bring the hands together. I want you to think about squeezing the shoulder blades together, pull it back, and then you can slightly look up towards the ceiling as well. Keep holding. All right, you can go ahead and release that as well. Okay, next one I'm gonna have you do all right, so for this, we're gonna go ahead and stand with one hand on the side of your chair. Um, we're gonna place all of the weight on your outside leg, okay? And then what I'm gonna have you do is just take this other leg, so that inside leg, the one that's closest to the chair, I want you to just kind of cross it over the top just to make sure you don't have any weight on it. If you wanna keep it over here, that's fine, but make sure you don't have a ton of weight on that foot. Then what you're gonna do is I want you to think about pushing those hips out away from the chair. 
So automatically you should start to feel a stretch here on this hip and outside of this leg. And then what I want you to do is take that outside arm, reach it up and over as you're still continuing to press that hip out. So this one is a great stretch for this, um, it's called your IT band. So it runs from right here in your hip all the way down um, to your knee here, inserts there. So all along the side here, um, a nice stretch for that. It's a commonly tight muscle in a lot of people. So a good way to stretch that out as well as getting a nice stretch all along the side of that body. Good, continuing to push those hips out, reaching up and over. All right, you can go ahead and release that. All right, we're gonna do the same thing now on your other side. So you can go ahead and flip it over. Again, all of your weight is on that outside foot. We're gonna cross that inside look, or inside foot up and over, or inside leg. Then I want you to first press those hips out. Once you're there, you can take that top arm and reach it up and over. All right, you can go ahead and release that. Now we're gonna go ahead and stand facing the chair. You could also use the back of a couch, table, um, something like that. Um, you wanna stand a pretty good distance away from it. And this one is just to kind of give a little release to that low back, all right? So from here, I want you to think about pushing your hips back and just reaching those arms forward. And you should feel that low back kind of stretch out and release right here. You can just let that upper body kind of hang heavy and breathe. All right, you can go ahead and come on up out of that. We'll release it. Now, I'm gonna have you go ahead and actually first, we're gonna go ahead and stretch out those hamstrings. So we'll do this standing. So you just want a surface to be able to kick your foot up on top of. Again, this can be the chair that you're using, um, couch, uh, low table, something like that. You're gonna kick your foot up on top of it here. I want you to have those toes up towards the ceiling, all right? I want you to think about keeping your back neutral as you kind of hinge that body forward a little bit. And this one you should feel in the back side of your leg. Make sure that you're mindful on this one, that you're not letting that back round at all. We wanna keep everything neutral. As far as that standing leg goes, you wanna try to make sure you have just a little bend in it, it's not locked out. And you're just holding right here. All right, you can go ahead and release that. We'll switch over, same thing now on your other side. Kick it up, toes are up, and again, leaning forward. Perfect, all right. We'll go ahead and release that. All right, now I'm gonna have you take a seat on your chair. This one is going to be to stretch your glutes out. Um, so for this one, I want you to go ahead and take and cross one ankle up over that opposite leg. And we're just gonna sit up here, nice and tall. And to deepen this stretch, what you can do is just put a little pressure on the inside of that knee as needed to kind of open up this stretch a little bit. All right, and last stretch here. We're gonna go ahead and switch over to your other side. 
again, you can apply that little pressure here to open up the knee a little bit more. Right, and that's going to conclude everything. Hopefully after all of this, you feel nice and stretched out, head to toe. Thanks so much for joining me today and have a great day.